Remember um, doing a uh, photo shoot with Big Van Vader one time. And uh, Big Van Vader, he was standing next to me, but he was standing like a foot in front of me. You know, he was still to the side, but he was a foot in front of me. And then I would move up to the side of Big Van Vader. And then he goes, no, brother, you stay right there. And then I go, you know, okay. He goes, it's business, brother. <laughs> and I go, oh, okay. I, I, and I got to look bigger than you in the, in the promos. I gotta make in the photo shoot, I got to look like the big guy. I got to make myself <laughs> look really big. That's Big Van Vader, man. You know what I mean? He taught me something. You know what I mean? Immediately, that was a lesson uh, for me. to, and, and I knew from that point on, you know, I could make myself look actually bigger just by standing slightly in front of the guy that's standing next to me on camera. And I go, and then even more, that, more than that, only shoot us waist up, brother. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know what I mean? So, Big Van Vader, man, um, definitely one of the true greats, um, three time. WCW champion, three-time IWGP champion, uh, definitely made his mark um, pretty much in Japan. Japan um, is the, um, um, the 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 time and the spot where he got the big master done. You know, uh, yeah. helmet. That's when we really became the fan of um, Leon Baby Bull White. You know what I mean? Because b- before that, you know, he, he didn't get that kind of fanfare. But after he put that mask on, after it wasn't even a mask. It was a it was that yeah. helmet that yeah, he, was that he came helmet. out with. Helmet, then it would shoot smoke out, out of, of it. it. Yeah. And, um, and then, you know, when he took it off, you know, he had the mask on, of course. But for a big man, he went out and moved like a, you know, a guy much smaller than he did. He went out there and did moves like a guy much smaller than himself would do, you know. So I, I tell you, um, Big Van Vader, you know, um, hopefully he's in a better place, man. Um, um, definitely. Um, the thing is, to the end. You know, uh, that's the thing. You know, you never know um, how you're gonna handle um, life. You know, when it comes, when it's your time, when it's your time, when when you feel it coming. But Vader was still out there doing shows. Yeah, he was still out there wrestling. He was like, man, you know, I ain't gonna stop until it's time for me to stop. And you know, that's the that's the only way I think to be able to live life. You know, is be able to look at it and straight in the eye and say, you know, come and get me, man. Here I come. You know, and. You know, and know that you know, you know, know if you if you're a God fearing man, you know, like I am, you know, you know, you're going to a better place. Vader was always one of the guys when I was a kid, though, who, like, there were very few people who just kind of scared you when you looked at them, especially as a kid. And I wasn't even uh, as afraid of the Undertaker as I was afraid of Big Van Vader. I thought that he was going to jump through that television screen mm-hmm. and Vader bomb me in my living room. Uh, he just had that. He just kind of—he was just—he he felt Look, wild. You think Mike, he felt unchained. You, you know? think Mike Tyson got some off-the-chain interviews? <laughs> Go and look at some of Big Van Vader stuff, and, and it's real. It's it, time. Uh, it's time. It's Vader time. I mean, it was real back then. Like I say, those those guys, man, those rookies. Um, you know, back in the locker room when, you know, guys like Big Sid Vicious, you know, Sid Vicious, man, back then, man, he he really did. Think he ruled the world. <laughs> and I ain't jiving. And uh, Big Van Vader, you know, that was like his side. They were like superheroes running around. Yeah. And they thought they were superheroes in their own minds, you know, at the <laughs> same time, too. You know, so those guys, those, those young rookies, man, they would be sitting in the locker room and, you know, Vader would come in and, you know, Vader would go, I'll take him. You know, and, and Sid <laughs> come in and go, I want him. You know, and those guys, man, oh, God, those other guys over there in the corner, they're like, God, thank God, oh, my God. Oh, he didn't like, pick me. He you know, they, me. They, they survived that week. Yeah. But the next week, it, there is to come. You know what I mean? So I tell you, man, I had so many stories, man, so many stories uh, about Big Man. Your, your first pay-per-view in Houston was with Vader, right? Yeah, You, you yeah. were on his team in the war games. I was in the main event, man. I mean, I was a young green kid, man, and um. I tell you, uh, this was crazy. This is a story of Big, Big Van Vader. He, um, you know, had been around much longer than I have, of course. You know, he did his tour in Japan and then coming back to WCW. That's, that was like, you know, easy money for him, you know. Um, but myself, I was a, you know, a green kid coming in that Vader 
didn't know from, you know, a, a hole in the ground, you know. So my thing was, uh, let me get to know Mr. Vader. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Vader? <laughs> you know, uh, knowing that uh, I'm going into this big match, war games, you know what I mean? All the major players, Big Sid Vicious, Big Ben Vader. British so, Bulldog, you know, Sting. Lee, yeah, man, it was crazy, you know, Dustin Rhodes, you know. Shockmaster. Uh, Shockmaster. It, it, was, it, you know, it was nuts, man. You know, and, and, and I'm like, I'm like Vader, um, you know, what do you what do you want me to do in this match? You know, and he goes, you know, uh, you think you ready for this, kid? You know, and I go, yeah, I'm ready for this. My whole attitude changed. Yeah. You know, I've been, I said, I've been training for this. You know, I work with guys like, you know, um, Black Bart. You know, I got work with guys like Johnny Mantel. You know what I mean? Hollywood John Tatum. You know, Manny Fernandez. I, I've been training for this moment. I just I just need to know, what do you need me to do? Um, and he said, just bump, kid. <laughs> <laughs> just listen to me and bump. <laughs> oh, how sweet it is, man. How sweet it is. Boom, hopefully it's in a better place, man. Most deaf, man. Most deaf. Uh, big ups.